Hello, you fantabulous bunch. No respawns here. So, firstly, don't know where the fantabulous came from, to be honest. It's just a bit, of a bit of improv there. But also, this is a scavenging station for the research patrols um, that the Brotherhood of Steel sent out. Now, this was suggested in the last Brotherhood of Steel video by a lass whose name I just decided not to remember or even go back and check because that didn't occur to me so thank you you know who you are please comment in the video and say this is my idea so I can go yes just like that but also it was a really good idea I had no idea what to use this last space for and yeah just the idea of having kind of like a research um, kind of scavenging station where the kind of research patrols can kind of run off do their own thing um, I don't know where these weird little things oh god Ugh, I'm evidently in an energetic mood um, but anywho so yes it's a cool idea, and I wanted to see about using these industrial prefab halls that I'd used in the boathouse video. Because one, obviously they still s suit the vibe of the Brother to Steel, you know, that kind of crisp, less scrappy looking vibe that I'm going for. But also they just seem quite fun to use. Now, you may notice as well, like looking at them in there, they follow the same internal structure as the vault pieces actually seem to be the inspiration for how these fit together in a lot of ways. If you actually look and go through the tab, they're actually it's either in the structures, um, un uh, USO integrated structures tab, industrial right at the end. Now the, the cool thing is, is even though they don't snap, as you can see, um, they have incredibly generous collisions. So I can just kind of like manually, as if you were pillar glitching them in. So you won't really have any trouble kind of getting them sorted out and all kind of like hunky-dory where you want them to be, which is really grand. Now, I was a little bit just... I had no idea what to do after this point. I'm now, I now know, and you can just see me still have evidently just left my fucking around in the menus because I forgot where the sections were. So I had a vague idea. So obviously those of you following Twitter have already seen the video. I wanted it to still look cool. Obviously I wanted it to look cool. Fucking now I want to look shit. No, but I want it to still look kind of pretty complex, but also not overdo it. I, I initially was going to do more with the roof section that I ended up doing. Um, end up having a, a robot thing up there and then just kind of adding deets around the outside. Um, however, I'm quite pleased with how it ended up. This whole area actually, I, I never thought I'd finish because the airport's basically nearly finished now. I mean, in fact, I've done all the main structures. The only thing that needs to be done is a little bit of detail um, kind of you know, in the rest of the, you know, kind of on the walls, just kind of more, basically it'll be the equivalent of one build's worth of time on my part, but it'll probably take less creativity, because it'll be more just kind of me filling up spaces, um, obviously going to use my concrete steps, could use the metal one, but fuck off, yeah, I want to use concrete, because concrete's cool, so up here I was just, I just, I just, I just didn't, just didn't even know, you can see, this is me, this is my, this is my, that's my, didn't even know face, so here's my now no face, I don't know what to do now, so I love these. I lose these rugs all the time. What am I doing? What am I doing? What are you doing right now, Davy? Oh yeah, right. I do this. So basically, you see that um, the little Pridwin step thing, the stairs, David, the step thing. Yeah, they're called stairs, son. Um, that thing. I uh, it was really hard to get it completely fl um, sure sheared to the edge. So I ended up just kind of basically covering the gap that was there with with the plywood and obviously the reason for the rug is so I can kind of rug glitch it in and get it as close as I can to the stairs. The reason for the plywood here will become apparent in a sec. Bear with me loves, yeah, bear with me. It's basically just like adding detail where there wasn't detail before because I'm super clever and stuff like that. Yeah, basically that's it. It's not really that clever to be honest. But our wells. Oh, I do love this fucking plywood though. Oof, plywood. Oof, get in. Suits you. Right, so, it took me ages to find where this was. <laughs> it's in USO Integrated Crafting Robotics. Um, a couple of things that I've actually lost from uh, the, uh, when Andrew CX has done quite a lot of reorganization of the tabs. They work once you know everything. Like I said, I, when I first got them, I complained because I was like, this is weird, but actually it's really, really good. So he's moved some stuff and I haven't found it yet. Um, also, I end up like taking this iPod out. I, I bought iPod. <laughs> I bought pod out of the build for now because of the fact that I didn't know what to do with it It was just kind of plumped on the side whether it'll probably will be in the settlement I think just because it's cool also don't worry this part here get rid of completely terrible look shit I know I was just experimenting Overall, I'm, I'm really quite chuffed with how this place has turned out. I, I can't really build anymore I've got to um sit down and actually 
finished the content. I haven't actually played... I went for a period recently where I was playing Fallout 4, and I've stopped playing it a little bit again. Um, I'm still building, obviously, but I'm not play playing it for questing as much. I just took a break for whatever reason. Um, I still need to finish the Brotherhood of Steel stuffs. Still doing railroad railway for life. However, got to have some Brotherhood of Steel quests to get as far as I possibly can before I, you know, decide to betray them. <laughs> a bit of sandbags. The reason what I'm doing here... So I'm just kind of fucking around, really. Not I'm actually going to put... I didn't know what to... I was initially I was going to have actual barriers and kind of shit like that. But then I thought, actually, because this is just going to be kind of like a scavenging station, I can kind of make here look a little bit ramshackle. So we just have barrels and we're just going to kind of pillar glitch them in, as you can see. Now, also, some people are going to point out, and I'm going to already acknowledge it, that obviously I'm not going to have sentry bots up here because they just won't be able to get... Well, they technically you could just make them and then just fast travel away and they'd spawn downstairs. However, um, can't do that. Shut up. So, we're only gonna have non-sentry bots here. Isn't any whilst on a random right? I bet you fucking PC and Xbox users have this mod anyway, so bugger off, but, <laughs> um, alongside obviously not being able to make iBots, which did make me wine loads. Um, I'm really pissed off that we don't have all of the, uh, the voices for the robots. I was thinking about this the other day. I want... A Mr. Gutsy. Mr. Gutsy voice? I want like a Mr. Handy who's a Mr. Gutsy doing the Mr. Gutsy voice. Can't have it. Why can't I have it? The fuck, Bethesda? Fuck you. I lost that rug as well. The fuck, Bethesda? That's all your fault, yeah? Hmm. Still a bit annoyed. Or, or Mr. Because the, the files are in there. They're in there. They could have easily done them, but they just thought no. No. Why no, no, Mr. Why no Mr. Gutsy? Hmm? Fuckers. Bastards. Oh well. Anyway. That was just my thing. I was just thinking about the robots I want to make, and I would be cool if this replaced could be like defended by Brotherhood of Steel, Mr. Gutsy. Wouldn't that be cool? Apparently not. Fuckers. They're doing pretty good, see? I'm quite chuffed. I say, I say chuffed a lot. It's chuffed, by the way. Chuffed means um for those of you you non-English people, or non-British people rather, and I think Australians and maybe Canadians know what I mean. But for those of you Yanks, basically, let's be honest who I'm talking about. Uh, chuffed means when you're particularly pleased with yourself. But it's just a very British way of being pleased. Chuffed to bits. So I'm chuffed. That's, that's the only guy I probably should explain that. He's chuffed, you know, no idea what I was talking about. Right, so basically, it's looking pretty cool so far. Oh, left a bit of my menus in there. Rookie, rookie, meant to cut that out. It's all right, I get most of them all the time. Think of it just, you know, kind of letting you guys in a little kind of editing faux pas to make myself seem more real. Now, this took a while to actually figure out how to actually get this on properly. Um, so I mentioned this in the last video, and I actually don't use this one, don't you worry. Um, but basically, in the roofs roofs of the Unlock Summon Objects mod, as you can see, we've got these shack roofs with the banners on them. Now, this is the one I use, and it does look cool. I know it's wood, but trust me, it, it works. Yeah, it just works. Um, I pop it up there so I can grab the wall. But they work really, really well, and I'm going to kind of make a point of using them. They look a little bit, obviously, junkier than maybe this build is meant to however once i put it in and kind of add the pillars and stuff it actually does work quite well i was quite impressed i thought i'd take it off because basically the reason why i'm popping this here is because i was realized i hadn't actually built very much and i was getting really bothered by the fact that like I, I feel like more needs to be added to this you know and this pretty much kind of just this and like the other little bit i add on just like it works it completes it um which is which is grand. Ah, oh, this place looks so cool. I'm gonna do that back end piece, but that back end will just probably be like you know bullshit and stuff like that. So don't worry about the back bit. Yeah, this is me just sorting. <laughs> Everything went wrong here. <laughs> Everything's were glitching basically, but like in the wrong way. So there we go. That was that was a bit bullshit, wasn't it? Really? That's all right. We'll just redo it again, shall we? I'm loving these crates, wood crates and barrels. I can pretty much just entertain mice. I should have put some tires up there. Fuck. Should have put some tyres over there. What a noob. What a nabbin. That's what we got here. Yes. So I'm just gonna... So you can see this iBot pod. I'm kind of like manoeuvring it, thinking, um, what will I do with that? I guess I'll just kind of leave that over there. Will I? Fair enough. I'm having a bit of a gander. This is where I lost some stuff as well. Um, because... Um, Andrew CX has moved the menus around a little bit. As I mentioned, I'm having a bit of a thinky here on what I can put in. There we go. This is what I decided to land on, by the way. Spoiler. Because it sinks. See the height? It sinks just... I don't get it right the first time. Spoiler. Um, but the second time I do. And it just sinks just so it doesn't look silly. But obviously I put it in and sunk it in a little bit too far in. You'll see what I mean in a second. Just the right height. 
I was going to put initially a, like a, a kind of like one of the chain link fences there just to kind of, you know, like break up the wall a little bit. But I didn't because this looked a bit cooler, as you can see. I could have probably actually dug it in on the side that's touching the industrial wall a little bit. But to be honest, it's only if you stand there and I'm, I'm going to cover that side up. I just haven't done it yet. Another beanbag. Beanbag? Sandbags, David. Beanbags, really? Not very military, are they? You tell I've never been in the army. Um, especially tell, considering I decided to use a radioactive barrel right next to, right opposite the living quarters. But, you know, that's how I roll, really. It's just, you know, been a bit of a knob. There we go. Barrel I actually take it out, don't worry. The, the wee one. There we go. But it's not very, you know, for, for the guy who RPs. Oh, interesting thing, you may notice, those of you who are astute may notice, I had about 11 barrels stored. I was like, why do you have 11 barrels stored? The reason being, and it's going to cut into the top, doesn't matter, is because the junk in this settlement, including the carpets, like you see, those who've been here know there are those red rugs, they all of them respawn. It's really, really weird, so just be warned on all of the junk respawning. Anywho, look at that, doesn't look awesome, doesn't look great. Oh, this is cool, I like this, and it works. And thank you for the suggestion in the other video. Um, I'm quite pleased, chuffed even, with how this has turned out. And also it's quite grand to know that the Brotherhood of Steel airport is basically finished. Though I do have to, as I said, do some decoration and all finish their quests. So see, I'll do the tour inside. It's pretty straightforward in its way. Now, I didn't actually do anything um, to the roof. Spoiler, in terms of junk, I actually forgot. Completely forgot to put the junk up there. But it looks completely full anyway. So I've got a little power armor area here. I've got the place that you've already seen. However, you get to see it not sped up. So that's pretty cool where you build your robots. I thought the idea, the reason why this is in like the research kind of like um, recon scavenging area place is because, you know, they might find robots. Maybe want to pick their brains, synths, that kind of shit. I really should have put maybe some gurneys then put some dead synths on there. I think a couple of robots they've scavenged. Kind of wish we had more options to be fair. And then I just kind of filled it with various tech. Um, and gizmos to give the illusion that this is where they just kind of bring stuff back and have a look-see. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this one. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, those of you who may have noticed, um, I uploaded, well, it's just a Monday actually, but I uploaded every day last week. What I'm doing is I'm doing Monday to Friday and then not uploading on the weekend. That's kind of my plan with maybe some reactive days where I upload just because it gives makes it easier for me to structure my days a bit better and sorts out my sleeping pattern. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawn. We'll have a new video up tomorrow. And until then, you guys enjoy the rest of the week and I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.